Hello everyone, UK here. With the recent Sea of Thieves patch, we see the removal of the Quick Bucket from the game. It's caused quite a stir in the community and some players even threatening to quit the game. If you're not already subscribed, please consider clicking that subscribe button and if you enjoy the video, smash the thumbs up. Now let's take a look at once again how not to sink your ship. To start, I'll explain scooping water. On every ship type, you don't actually have to look at the water to scoop. You simply need to be standing in it. This means you can literally look up and scoop water. Now with this knowledge, we can apply it to bucket strategies. For the first round of tips and tricks, we're going to be looking at sloops. Whether you're a solo or duo player, finding the optimal bucket strategy is very important to staying alive. On a sloop, you have a total of three options when bucketing water out of your ship. Firstly, you have the window. This is one of the easiest bilge methods on the ship type and only requires a little bit of skill to perfect. To throw water from a sloop window without an issue, you must first align the handle of the bucket with the window ledge. Doing so will allow you to throw water perfectly without any splashback on your ship. Aiming higher will cause you splashback, resulting in the water from your bucket returning to the ship. So finding the optimal spot to throw is very important. As of this video's recording, there is currently a visual bug in the game that always shows splashback with the window. Movement is now the next part of the strategy. Like I explained at the start of the video, you don't need to be looking at the water to scoop but only standing in it. With the window ledge throw mastered, you now need to master the movement. Here we will stand at the bottom of the stairs looking towards the window. Scoop the water, move forward, align the handle of the bucket with the window ledge and throw. Then walk backwards to the bottom of the stairs, scoop and repeat the steps over and over. Next up on the sloop is the stair throw. Stand at the bottom of the stairs and look up to the second step. Align your handle with the bottom part of the wood. You want to keep your mouse or analog stick locked in this position. Scoop and throw the water out of the ship. Although if a player were to run past while you were throwing, it would cause the water to splash back in the boat. So just be more aware of the situation. You can combine these two strategies while on a geo sloop. During heavy damage, have one player bucket out of the window and one player bucket from the step. It's best to organize who is doing what beforehand to eliminate any error early on. Lastly, we have the great throw. Align the handle of the bucket with this piece of wood. Standing in a fixed position, look up at the grate, scoop and throw the water out of the boat. The downside to this method is if anything is on top of the grate like loot or even a player, this will cause splashback. Along with that, bucketing through the grate on all ship types while the water is too high will also cause splashback and can even lead to sinking. Next up, we have the brigantine. Here we have two faster methods when bucketing on a brig. The steps method is one of the easiest here to master. Stand at the bottom of the stairs on either the left or right side, looking up and out towards the back of the ship. Scoop the water at the bottom of the stairs, walk forward and throw. Walk backwards, scoop and repeat this method over and over. If two crewmates are required at any point to bilge, have them stand on the opposite side of the stairs to increase the speed while your third crewmate repairs. And if you're one of those players that like the two mana brig, pick a sloop next time. The last method on the brig is the map grate. This requires practice as the correct positioning could throw a few players off. Oh, and as you can see, this game works completely fine. No bugs at all. Stand at one side of the map table on a brig, line your handle with the upper corner of the boat, the part where the roof meets the wall. Here you can stand in a fixed position and throw out of the grate. Lastly, we have the galleon. In my opinion, there are two optimal bucket strategies here. The great hop is still my favorite for bucketing on a galley. To perform this, stand at the bottom of the stairs and scoop. Walk backwards up the stairs and hop over the gap onto the second deck. Aim diagonally at the grate and throw the water. If your galley is taking heavy damage and you have to call a support in, main builds can bucket through the left side and support can bucket through the right side. Being organized on who buckets out of what side is very important to reduce the possibility of splashback. If you want to organize further, have a third bucket on the right side of the map table and the helm on the left side of the map table if water levels are starting to get a bit scary. The downside to this method, just like other strategies, is that if a player stands on top of the grate, this can once again cause splashback and the water will return to the boat. The last method we have on a galleon is the fire strat. This is a method you'll see present in competitive situation from high tier crews like the ones we see in the NAL. To start the fire strat, we are going to set fire to the back of the ship on the mid deck. Stand on the lower stairs of the galleon, scoop the water, walk up on top of the stairs setting yourself on fire. Then walk backwards to the bottom of the stairs and throw the water over yourself. The point to this strategy is that the water you throw back on yourself does not enter the boat. The downside to the fire strat is when the water level hits mid-deck, it will of course put the fire out. So you'll either have to be really quick or bucket through the grate as normal. 
Another downside to fire strut, like any fire, if left too long, it can spread. With fire in this spot, it can spread to the cannonball barrel, wood barrel, and also the captain's quarters. And that's it for this bucket tips and tricks video. Like everything in a game, a learning curve does exist. So load up a ship, crash it into the island, and get practicing. Until the next video, thanks for watching.